What's going on guys, it's the Elite Jellybean here back again for episode 3 of my FIFA 16 Ultimate Team Journey. So we start off today's episode by buying some coin boosts and some loan players and also other things like um, the transfer pile increase and a couple more things. I think we bought contracts, a ball and a Liverpool kit as well. Just to add a few things to the club so we can just help us get a good start. So I'll just go over the new things we got here. We got De Gea, great goalkeeper, seven games on loan. It's a shame he plays for Man United. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, Rondon on loan for 11 games, Balassi for 13 games. 399 contracts, a Liverpool kit and a ball. And as you can see, we're just gonna put some players onto the market because all these non-red golds we still have to sell from the pack opening are still in the thing in the club and that's why I bought the additional transfer list sign size because I can put as many on the market as I want well not as I want I've got a limit still but it's much bigger so we can get a lot more money very very quickly and that'll help us to get a pretty solid BPL team because these loan players aren't gonna last forever <clears throat> um, we also go in looking for a centre back because we haven't actually got a second centre back in the BPL from the pack opening I was hoping to get a pretty okay BBL team sorted in the pack and open, which is why I was looking for all the uh, BPL players. But these BPL players are not cheap. We have to pay, I think it's like 850 coins just for an okay right um, centre back. Look, we buy Fernandez for 850 coins, and he's really that's really expensive for a non rare gold. <coughs> for a non rare gold, that is very expensive. And he's not even. It's not even fast or anything, he's got 55 pace. But we also have to go in for a right back as well to fill that position because we haven't got a right back either. And this was even more ridiculous. Like, we had to pay, I think, 900 coins. I had to pay 900 coins for a right back, and you'll see in a minute. It's a bronze right back. More. 59 rated, 900 coins. Absolutely ridiculous. But that's just how FIFA is at the start. But then when the packs start coming in, the game gets really inflated. Um, then all the police, then all the uh, players are going to go down because the market is going to be really inflated. But yeah, so I'll just take a quick look at my team, so I can show you guys the team we kind of got. We got a couple of good players in there, but they're all on loan. But hopefully, with a few games, um, we'll be able to uh, buy some pretty good players. So we're going to go into our first game, nice. I know, finally, episode three, finally getting into a, some games. But we're joining the, um, oh, I forgot what it was now, we're joining the offline seasons anyway. But as you can see, the first few games are going to be on amateur. So instead of showing you like all these um, players, like all these games, I'm just going to show you the goals and I'm going to make a little goal montage out of it. There's also going to be a couple of cup games in there as well. So I hope you enjoy guys and I'll come back to you when the goal montage is done.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that's all for today's episode. Um, when the games start getting more difficult, like semi-pro games and professional games, and certainly online games, I'm going to be showing you the highlights of the full game instead of just showing you the goals that I score. Um, I only showed you a few goals because I scored like 9 or 10 in each game and I don't think you really wanted to see that because it was on amateur. So anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. It'll really be appreciated and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Have a nice